Need a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My betrothed loon. I, I, yeah, I your am. Hitch. <laughs> I you am. Are. I am your betrothed. You are the ball and chain, <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> no, folks, we're really excited oh, because funny. the weather is changing. It's getting a little crisp outside, yes. so that means one thing. It's, it's time. soup season. Soup season. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we're doing today one of our all-time favorites. Let's tell them. Oh. We're doing our Italian, Italian wedding, wedding soup. soup. It's Italian Betrothed. wedding soup. Betrothed. Betrothed, you know. <laughs> Which I, actually has nothing to do with Italian wedding soup. Well, there's a little bit of a story, so let's quickly tell that. So we, are, we, you know, we used to live up in the New York City area, and this is very popular up there. Yes. We, I used to get this for lunch almost so every day. So good. Like the, the soup Nazi, you know, remember from uh, Seinfeld? I, he has really good ones, and there's a soup shop next to where we work. Anyway, it's very totally. good. No but more soup for you. No. Okay. But so, so many people, <laughs> including us, thought that it just meant, well, you know, it's a popular soup to serve it in the Italian Yeah, way. totally. That's, That's not thought. the story. Right. The story is that it's the beautiful marriage of meat and vegetables. That's right. And when we heard that, we're like, wow, it's like us. You know, it's <laughs> the meat and the, the vegetables. vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, oh, the juicy Lord. and the healthy. But now, anyway, so let's talk <laughs> about that. So first of all, before we really get going, the meat. Okay, let's talk. Let me yes, just quickly show. We're going to get to this. We'll the meat. More, yeah. I mean, it's all about the meat, the balls. Mm. So these are homemade meatballs. We're going to show you how we made these, and they're incredible. They're so, I, it's it's it's. Everything in my power right now not to nibble. I know. I've been having to, like, beat him <laughs> off. It's, it's, you know, as a married couple, we can do that. Anyway, yeah, so let's talk about the, the, the base of Look at of this any, beautiful So many great stock. soups mm -hmm. really rely. I mean, what, what you want a decent mm. soup and you want a spectacular soup. It all relies on if it's a stock-based soup. I love to make homemade stock, and yes. it's so easy. That. So this is chicken stock. Oh, so, so let's I've talk. Chicken yeah, and he's, he there. can do a facial. <laughs> so what, let me tell you, uh, it, this is so easy to do. I do it the day before. Before, do it the two days before, freeze it. I do it all the time, and it's, it's so. It's always in the fridge. That's right. And this is just a basic, uh, simple stock. So, the, what, what I do is I get about four pounds of chicken pieces. I usually use the split breast, uh, skin on, bone in chicken breast, and, uh, nice and then legs. I usually use legs, but you can use whatever you got, but you need about four pounds. And you put them in a nice large pot, and, uh, and then you just fill that with water until it's about an inch to two inches yeah. above the chicken. Okay? Simple, simple. And then you put that on the stove and you bring that to a simmer and you're going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes and you're going to see some what we call impurities beginning to arise. A little yes. foamy stuff. A little gunk. A little yeah. gunk. Yeah, so you just get it. You want to you <laughs> remove that as best you can. So just get a little, like I use just a little, oh, like a little small little sieve type thing that I have. Whatever you've got yeah. that you can scoop stuff out with. A, Even a, a spoon. A spoon, a nice serrated, um, not serrated knife, that wouldn't do very well. <laughs> a, a slotted spoon. spoon. But whatever you've got, and just remove that. And after about 30 minutes, now we're going to really build the flavor. We're going to deepen the flavor of that chicken stock. And we're going to, let me tell you about, there's something called a bouquet garni. Yes. It's very uh, fun. It's a, uh a garden bouquet? I don't know what it's it is. It's a bouquet that. garni. It just, so it's what it is. It's, it's, it's just herbs that you're going to basically use to enhance the stock. Right. And so what I like to do is I get um, cheesecloth, which can be found at your local supermarket. Get your nice big square of that and then put whatever fresh herbs you can happen to have on hand. You can use a combination. What, what we do is like fresh thyme, fresh rosemary. rosemary. I love to pull me some fresh parsley, parsley yes. and put that in there. Uh, but you could also use the leaves of celery, which you're going to be using for your mirepoix. You could use you could use dry, but um, I think your little combination is it's the a good bomb. it's a good taste combo. <laughs> I, I agree. So then what you do is you just kind of bundle that up, that like a bouquet, and then I just get a piece of ch chicken chicken. Kitchen twine, I can't talk today. <laughs> Kitchen twine, and then you tie, tie that up, up and do the, have like a long end, and then you, that's, that's going to go in. For, that's just for flavoring so that it, it sits in there and then you take it out. Obviously. That's right, they, right. And then you're going to okay. discard it. Okay, so now, so, let, so we've told you about that. So now what we're going to do to this simmering uh, stock is we're going to add our mirepoix, and that is just chopped. Uh, onion, celery, and carrots. And we've got the full measurements yes. of that on the block. The Holy Trinity. That is right. I mean, the, <laughs> the mirepoix. And then to that, we're going to add uh, two the or three. Garnier, we? no, we're going to do two or three bay oh, leaves. Right, bay right, leaves right. just add a depth of flavor. Yeah. And then we add the bouquet garni. Okay. And then we just let that, just let it go in this. And this you put a string, you leave the string long on yeah, the side. So of the bouquet, so, yeah, so it's easy to grab. It's easy to grab. And I've even at times, if I didn't have cheesecloth, I've used a, like a, um, a sock. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> that really deepens the flavor. No, a um, like a coffee filter. Oh, okay. And you could even, you know, because you're going to strain this. You could even no. not even. You could even leave out the. Uh, but I just like the bouquet yeah. garni. Yeah. And then you're going to let that simmer for about two and a half to three hours, and the smell is incredible. Mm. Continue to so just sort of remove amazing. those impurities at the top. After a while, it'll just be smooth sailing, and it's just incredible. Love it. Okay. We call it's called the the cooking of the stock. The cooking of the stock. Yes. He has it. It's like a big moment. It's, it's a moment in, in our history. And so then what we do is then you take it off the, the heat, and then you've got, you got a lot of chicken in there, and you can use that chicken, especially those big chicken breasts. Yeah. So I remove those, and I put them in a bowl, and I save them. I, you save them for our chicken salad. That's right. For any, <laughs> anything you need chicken, uh, should, and it's fully cooked. It's delicious. Yeah. And then you're going to want to get a, like, just like a colander and very carefully transfer that, strain that into another nice ice pot, okay? And then you usually need to get your loon in there to help you do that. Yeah. But um, just make sure you're doing right. that carefully, especially if it's hot. And then you just <laughs> divvy it up, right? Well, no, and then I need to put it in the refrigerator oh, and let nice. it, you've got to let it uh, chill. That's why oh, I'm saying you right. should do this yeah. in advance. Um, but it's so easy. And then what, what's going to happen is any of that, that fat that, that rendered from the skin and all, it's going to float to the top. And then as it chills, it, it congeals on the top. Got and then it. the next day, it's so easy just to just get a spoon and just right remove off. that. Yes. And then you're ready to go. Then okay. you divvy it up. And then you divvy it up. Yes. yes. So. I just talked a lot, as you're probably used to, but that is, I that's think it's right. important. I'm getting a good facial you're getting a facial, but that is, this, that's what puts this soup from like, yeah, that's good, to oh my over God, the top. Over. Okay, that and these yes, meatballs. Okay, gold. Okay, I've right. talked so much. So now what we've got here, let's start adding yes. this. So we've got 12 ounces of spinach. spinach. So you, I'm just going to dump those in there. And now. that seems like a lot, um, but the, uh, you know, spinach does wilt and it cooks down. So um, there's, there are times I've used a whole pound. Um, but again, it's, this is the vegetable portion of the wedding. Yes. Um, there so, we go. So put that, okay, that's good. You got that in there. Right in there yep. Okay, now we're going to add um, some carrots. Go ahead. These are three large carrots that I've just thinly sliced and then about four celery stalks mm. that I thinly sliced as well. Okay, and that's... Oh yeah, see the spinach is already like getting, is shrinking basically. That's right. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, it doesn't take long. So that, that you want that to go for about 30 minutes. Now 15 minutes into that 30 minutes, where it's, it, it's Italian, so you got to have pasta, <laughs> right? Yes. So but what, what I think is Traditional, well, it is. I don't think it. It is traditional. Is to use a small pasta. Um, this is called a ditalini. It should be called a ditatini because it's very. They're just small tubular pieces of pasta. Ditalini. 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 You put that in now? No, no. I'm sorry. That's going to go in after 15 minutes. Got it. But I've used. I've also used like small elbow macaroni. That works. Although, just remember the larger, because because the larger pasta, the more the more and liquid it absorbs. It absorbs, yeah. and so you don't want it to become too heavy. You want this to be a nice combination, yeah, uh, a, a ratio of meat, vegetable, and pasta, yeah. and right, the broth, okay? So we're gonna let that go, and then we're gonna come back and talk about the bowls. Yeah! <laughs> oh. It smells, smells like it smells so good. It smells like an Italian wedding. <laughs> I tell you, I wish I was there. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, to be in Tuscany oh, or something. But this is the next best thing. Me. So let's talk about Look at this. That. So, so that went for that simmered for about 15 minutes. The vegetables are just simmering beautifully, getting cooked, and then we added in our pasta. Look at the pot. That is. That, Isn't it beautiful? That's the perfect size pasta. It really is. I think it's even better than, you've made it with little um, elbow. small elbow. I said that elbow. before. So, but yeah. I think this is even better. It is. I, yeah. I think it's great. So Look anyway, um, okay, so let's talk about this. The let's, meatballs. The meatballs. <laughs> um, okay, so it's a perfect marriage. It's going to be. So what? let me tell you how I made these. So we start off with, get a nice big bowl, and you're going to want to start with two pounds of meat. So there's... You can use a com. I recommend a combination. I, whatever you've got handy to you, I use good quality, like 85% lean ground beef, mm -hmm. and then and for these I used another pound of Italian sausage. Yes, uh, that's delicious. You could also use a combination of ground, just ground pork, or ground veal. You could use ground chicken or ground turkey. Any of that's going to be great. Well, yeah, you could use the what is they call it the holy trinity of meat, uh, veal, beef. veal, pork, and beef. Yes, yes. Yeah. But yeah. but I, for this we're going with beef and Italian oh, sausage. We're Italian. Okay, so now um, to that, we are going to start adding some flavor mm -hmm. enhancements and a binder. So we're going to add uh, a couple of eggs that I have lightly beaten, and then we're going to add um, about a half 
a cup of finely chopped onion. Make sure it's nice and chopped because you don't want, well, you don't want overly huge chunks of onion <laughs> right. in your meatballs. And then um, three cloves, cloves of garlic yep. that I've uh, minced. And then to that, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of fresh parsley. You could use dried, fresh is best, but if you're going to use dried, use half the amount. Yep. And then we add two, um, I'm sorry, a half a cup of dried breadcrumbs. Just go with good old plain dried breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. And then a half a cup of good quality uh, grated Parmesan cheese. Right. And then it's, it's okay to get your hands no, in there and then start. No, hello, what? you forgot the salt and pepper. Oh, shoot. All right. <laughs> Thank you. That's why it's good to have a loon nearby. So, all right, I got to go. I'm going to grab the handle, so I got to go wash my hands off real quick. Thank you for reminding yeah. me. Okay, now we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> That's very important. And then we're going to do about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Lynn. You okay. Got it. So now we're going to just go and this is fun. You can just get there and start incorporating that all and get it all mixed up together. And you continue to do that until it's really, really. Um, Everything is well incorporated. Yes. And then uh, you're just going to start. I get a baking uh, pan, like a nice large baking pan, and start forming meatballs in the palm of your hand. And, and the, the, as you can see, these are not perfectly circular, but that's okay. Oh, that makes them look that a little means rustic. They're, they're homemade. Authentic. If you yeah, will. It, it's 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 going to be a <laughs> great wedding. So who, oh. it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but anyway, now so I, you see the size of these. They're, they're going to cook down a little bit when they're cooking. Um, but what's kind of fun about the slightly Larger one is then when you get, you know, in the in the soup, you can kind of break it apart with your spoon oh, and just eat pieces of it. Yes. But you can do smaller. That's not. I problem. love a big meatball in my soup. Well, you are kind of a big meatball. <laughs> I've always said that. So anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get a nice large uh, skillet. We're going to uh, put about two or three tablespoons, three tablespoons of olive oil in there, heat it over medium high heat, and then just put uh, about half of the batch of your meatballs in there, and you're going to cook them, and you just want to brown them on all all sides. It takes about uh, eight minutes. Minutes until they're all brown. They're yeah. not going to completely cook through. That's going to happen when we put them in the in the soup. And then you do that for the remaining batch. And um, now it's time. Now to you're going to put them in the soup. It's the <laughs> it's the marriage of. Oh, Figaro. see now I don't want to splatter. It's okay. You're just you're you're okay. Just it's, right. it's going to if it splatters a little bit. Just be there careful. we go. There you go. Now that may seem like a lot of meatballs, and oh, make sure you get all that juice. Oh, That's excuse me. juice is delicious. Excuse me. Okay, so like I said, they're they're going to be almost cooked, but they're probably still a little pink on the inside. But they will finish oh, up cooking perfectly. Hold on. There we go. What? Look at that. That's that. <laughs> That's a happy marriage. I'll tell you that right there. So we got 15 minutes. Ah, uh, 20. I like to let them go about 20 minutes, and and also it's going to some of that the flavor from the meatballs is just going to enhance the flavor. Of the stock, and Woo. this is a soup to. I can't wait. Write thank you notes about. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Are there are, are there any better words than soups on? Yeah, that is one of my favorite. Okay, so this is cooked. The, soup it's, is, it on. is ready to be served. Look at that. that Wonderful, is just spectacular. Mess. All right, Bloon, start doling oh, this out. Oh, lovely. Oh, okay. All right. So what did you say? Here, give me that one over there. So okay. So of course, this this broth is you can just imagine is just delectable. It's super delicious. I like to get down in there and get the broth out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, good. we definitely recommend using you know serving this with some crusty bread. You know what? You could probably use a little less pasta too if you wanted to. Okay. Well, great. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, Chris. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I'll give you a big old meatball, Chris. If you want to use less pasta, you can. I mean, apparently the loon thinks we have no, too much pasta. No, no, yeah. I'm just I mean, saying. Just, that, look, that look is that. A, that's a masterpiece of, yeah. of soup. Let's, let's just okay, take a look. Let, All right, Chris, keep come going. on. <laughs> well, we want us, everyone to be able to eat. Oh. You guys, you got to make this. It's so, oh. and, it, and besides, I mean, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful presentation? I'm gonna You've got the brightness of the meatball. carrot, the green of the spinach. Did I say you could also use kale? That's a good choice. Um, and then that meatball. Oh, oh my gosh. That, that okay. is delicious. Right. Oh, wait. So yes. Now, okay, so now we love to finish this off with just a little bit of grated. Yeah. Parmesan cheese. Oh, I, I mean, just, you know what? I think this is going to be my serve. <laughs> well, it usually <laughs> is. Okay, and this this freezes perfectly. That. That's that wonderful. Cheese. I know. That's oh, amazing. Wonderful. Okay. All right, I'm going. Oh, in. I should say. I should say. Um, now we didn't talk about salt. You do need to season this. So, with my stock, uh, typically when I make it, I do add about a table because that makes about a gallon of stock. So I usually add about a tablespoon of salt. A lot of times, if you're going to use store bought salt, if or I'm sorry, store bought 
stock, stock. or broth, it's yeah. already salted. So just be careful when you're salty. You're definitely going to need to add some salt to this. After this was simmering, I tasted. I felt like it needed about another. I tried a half a teaspoon, and then I did another half a teaspoon. So yes. just salt to your own liking. Yes. Okay. That's right. important. You don't yes. want to forget that. I should have been spooning up while you were talking well, because it takes me forever. <gasps> yeah, I'm so wow. excited. That is pure deliciousness. And now it is hot, y'all. Well, hot for me at least. The smell. Is your heart in the process of being warmed? The cockles of my heart are so <laughs> warm right now. Oh my lord! That is amazing! It's like we're at church, you know, having a wedding. Oh wow! I. Just look at that, people. Look at that. I know. Just, oh, I know. It's, it's amazing. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, I can't tell you. The, that meatball is delicious. The meatball. The broth, though. Sorry. It really I'm is. Just, I mean, I'm you got like, it. Slobbering and, it, this, and this soup is so good. Of course, you can nowadays get good quality chicken broth and chicken stock. Oh. No doubt about it. But making <laughs> it from scratch. Oh, there's no other. That's not. There's no substitute. Oh, <laughs> wow. That. Is 1,000% Luna Proof. Yes! Oh, oh my gosh. It's <sighs> you know what? We're going to eat this and go on a honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, is our honeymoon. I want to travel. I do too. But, <laughs> well, when you can't travel, you make Italian soup. Yes, because wow. Italian wedding soup. Oh, you all. Did you taste it? I'm getting ready to. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I know. I'm just. I need now. I'm, I just need to curl up under a blanket. Totally. Squeeze the dogs. Watch an old movie. Yeah, and just be oh, thankful. Watch magnolias. <laughs> be thankful for the good things in life. No, we got to watch a good old Italian wedding. Oh. Not the Godfather. No. <laughs> no. Oh now you can get this recipe on howtofeedaloon.com. You could. I bet there was good wedding or good soup well, at that whatever. wedding. It didn't end well though. <laughs> no. Um, so go to our social media, oh. like us, share us, do all of that great stuff. Oh. Make mm. soup. Mm. I mean, if there's anything that will make you feel better about life. Oh, I'm going make to it. sneeze. <laughs> I got a little pepper in my nose. Oh. Anyway, we love you. Please be safe. Oh, wait, and get some bread, too, to Dunkin'. Get some bread. Yes. This is the perfect oh. Dunkin' bread. Yay! Make it's, Italian wedding soup. I mean, talk about a match made in heaven. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, guys. Now, if you want to be a part of the Loon Fund, yeah. make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. That's right. Oh, and speaking of recipes, if you want another amazing Italian recipe mm. like this, then just click right That's here. That's right. Click. I mean, subscribe. Click, it's click, so subscribe. much fun.